According to my current calculations, I like to be ahead of my time. According to my time, dimension, 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 dimensional code. I might be in another dimension. I am drifting away. My destiny's been fulfilled. I am at peace. Hi everybody, my name is Dennis Woodruff and I came to Hollywood to be a big star. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it to the top one way or the other. And nobody's gonna stop me because I know it's my destiny. And when I meet David Lynch, he'll see what I have to offer. And he'll offer me a part in his movie, and then I'll be a huge success. I'm going to make it happen right now. This is my time. Everything's right. Everything's perfect for my success. And that's how my story begins. seen David. Oh, dude, let, let, me, let me tell you something. David Lynch. Nah, look, you're always bugging me about David Lynch. I hate his fucking movies. I haven't seen The Clown in six months. You know, it's so bother not me about a David. clown. Don't bother me about David Lynch. Don't bother, me with, David Lynch. Don't bother me with David Lynch no more, okay? As far as I'm concerned, dude, you give me a head and get the fuck out of here, all right? What do you mean? Just get the fuck out of here, man. Goodbye. Get the fuck out of here. I'm serious. Go. Yeah, David Lynch, David Lynch, man. Like I said, I haven't seen him doing it. His movies fucking suck, dude. Now get the fuck out. All right, bye, get out, go. Okay, man, peace, man. Don't let the door slam in the ass. David Lynch? No, I don't know who it is. I only know champagne and wine. I'm French, so I don't know. Dude, what's your name, man? Taylor. Taylor, my name is Dennis, Dennis Woodrow. Hi, Dennis, it's very nice to meet you. Hey, listen, man, I, I'm, I'm, I really need your help, man. This is really important. I, I, I need to find David Lynch. I mean, this is AFI. This is, this is where it all started, man. This eraser head, everything, it all started right here. I mean, this is David Lynch land right here, man. Do you know David? I don't, actually, and you're talking to the wrong guy because 
of AFI alums, I'm much more of a Terrence Malick fan. Really? I have to say. Well, who's he, man? He doesn't who's sound Malick? cool. Yeah. Oh, Terrence Malick is a lot cooler than David Lynch. Is he related to David? He's not. Well, what has he done? Some stupid movie? Some stupid movies. You know, nothing like, like a razor head. The New World, The Thin Red Line, Days of Heaven. Um, well, what are you, man? Are you some, like, hotshot director yourself? I'm, oh, yeah, obviously. What have you done? <laughs> what haven't I done? Your projects are all, like, really cool. <laughs> of course. You can't walk around L.A. without hearing my name. <laughs> Say your name. <laughs> Taylor. I know, but what's your last oh, name? Oh, I'm just Taylor. Taylor, oh, those one yep, name, yep, one yep. name things are, are pretty, pretty fashionable. <laughs> well, listen, man, I gotta find him. Man. I gotta find him. I mean, this, this is very important. All the well, planets, just, just calm down. Why? I know, but why is the, it so important for you to find well, him right now? Well, look, man, all the planets. I've been studying astrology. Yeah. All the planets are in complete alignment right now at this moment, this week, for me and him to meet. I mean, it's, look, man. Do you believe in destiny? Do you believe in primal destiny in its purest form, catalyst of the universe? You're just Be talking laughing, crazy man. talk, man. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> My mind is so advanced from all the films I've seen. Do you know I've seen Eraserhead over 63 times? I don't think David would want to hear that. David doesn't know right now, man, but he, when he meets me, he's going to be like, it's going to be crystal clear, like a diamond, that his mind is going to meet my mind, and he's going to say, this is the guy I've been searching for my whole life. You know, after a racer hit, the, the, the cat died, man. He got beat up out front of a donut shop or something in Pasadena, and they... They've snuffed him out. It was like, if I could have been filming it, it was like a terrible <coughs> snuff film. Hey, I'm not sure, but I, uh, I think he lives in that house right up there. No, man. Man, what's wrong with you? I've been to his house. He lives in a big, bogus mansion in Beverly Hills. You haven't been to his house. Yeah, I've been to his house, man, several times, but he's never there. You should get some help. What? Some psychological help. Uh, you know... There's nothing wrong with me, man. I, I'm just like, you know, it's just like I'm ahead of my time. That's all it is, man. I'm, I'm ten steps ahead of my time, and and you know, pretty soon people are gonna realize that, and they're gonna, it's gonna be clear in their mind that that I'm this, I'm, I'm this iconic landmark of cinema, and I'm gonna be like breaking all traditional values and. Introducing the world to a, a new form of acting, you know what I mean? Hey, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, listen, man, my name is Dennis, Dennis Woodruff. That's I'm like a name. famous actor. You're well, a famous actor? Well, kind of famous, I don't know. What have I seen you in Dennis? Well, you know, a lot of low-budget films. But listen, I see you're reading The Hollywood Reporter. Yes, yeah, there's fear. Be being this is AFI, man. Well, I've got a mission in life to meet David Lynch. I'm supposed to meet him. Do you know if he's around? Uh, here, I don't know. Maybe he's meditating somewhere. She to me David you must hear me David David Lynch yes it is me David wake up guardian angel of David Lynch you must it is your mission in life <laughs> 
David, can you hear me? David, wake up. It is your guardian angel. It is your guardian angel. Give him the part he deserves. Your guardian angel. You must help me, David. Your guardian angel. Him that part. David, David. To listen to little Dennis Woodruff. David, I am your guardian angel. You must obey. Hello. How Hi, are how are you? Good, good. How are you? What's your name? Sarabjit Singh. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Dennis Woodruff. Uh huh. I'm looking for uh, David Lynch. Okay. And I need to find peace and love in my life. That's good. I'm not a homosexual. That's okay. I mean, if, if somebody is homosexual, they are human being also. Exactly. Yeah, that is okay. If somebody is homosexual, that is their thing. I need to find peace in my life. Peace of mind. Peace of mind? Why you don't have a peace of mind? I don't know. I'm, I'm always searching. Searching for what? For something. You will never find it. Just whatever you have, be thankful. That's it. You seem happy. Yes, very happy. <laughs> See, you get up. I like to laugh. <laughs> yeah. See, you get up every day in the morning, you thank God. God, you gave me beautiful sun. You gave me another day. You look yourself in the mirror, you say, God, you gave me beautiful face. You gave me a healthy body. You gave me food to eat. God gave me everything I need. Exactly. Everything. Exactly. So be happy. Don't need to search anything. Whatever okay. you have. So I don't really need to meet David Lynch. Who is David Lynch? He's a director. He made a lot of movies. Over 500 movies. Okay. That's He's funny. the best director in the world. Okay. I'm an actor. I need to be in his movies. Okay. So find out how do you meet him. Go to Hollywood. Go ask someone. I'm searching. Yeah. Okay. But be peaceful, be happy. Oh, you yes, I'm very yeah. peaceful. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, take care. Okay. God bless. Be on your way. Yes, thank you. Here I am at the wrong church again, and I, all I got was an 800 number, and I'm going to see if they call me, see if I can uh, get something. Because that's where David Lynch goes, and I want to find out more about it, and, uh, see what it's about. It's got to be good if David Lynch likes it. I mean, meditation. Oh, maybe I can find out what my mantra is and it might do me some good, I'm sure it will. Everything's good. My name's Joe. Joe what? D'Alessandro. Uh, I've been around for a long time. Pretty old guy now. Uh, Semi-retired. Uh, love movies. Been a big fan of all sorts of movies. Here are a couple of my favorite movies right here. I've watched them many times. I think lots of people have. Uh, big fan. Love, uh, love to work in all sorts of films. Uh, like I said, semi-retired, so if anybody can think of something for me to do besides this, uh, give me a ring. I'm in the book. No, but like you were in all the Warhol, like a lot of, how many Warhol movies were you in, Joe? Uh, more than one. What's your favorite one you worked on? I guess uh, Flesh would have been my favorite. I've been out here a long time, you know. I've been out here like 22 years. And lots of people know who you are. They yeah. see you around. And um, I really think I, I could have a shot. Uh, you might have a better chance than I do to be in a David Lynch movie. I, I think that's what I really want to do in life is be in David Lynch's movies. People like to do lots of things, but doesn't mean it's going to happen. Right. Well, I'm writing him letters, and I'm hoping that he'll answer me. No. Have you ever been to his house or anything? No, no. Have you no, ever no, thought no. of maybe getting to know him? No. Well, I'm going to really try to get to know him and see if he'll cast me in his movies. Mm. Uh, Knock yourself out. What can I tell you? Hey, Rocky. Yo, Rocky. It's me, Adrian. Hey, Kev. It's me, Dennis. Hey, hey Dennis Woodruff. How you Woodruff. Doing? How you doing, man? How you been? Oh, man. Jesus, this is L.A. <laughs> yeah. hey, I, listen, I'm sorry about yesterday, man. You know, I was like, I was in a bad place, you know. Really? So, um, 
You mean you weren't really mad at me? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but you know, I'm Irish, you know, we got we got temper, you know. So but anyway, I was just kind of pissed off a lot of things in my life, you know. Well, David, how about David? Does he, do you think he still likes me? I mean, he doesn't oh. hate my guts, does he? No, I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, you know, he's not doing well, you know. The movie, last movie, he, he did lost money, you know. How much? Well, bad, you know, I think he produced it, so, you know, he's... He's going through a tough time. Fuck. Well, listen, man, here, here here's my card, and, uh, you know, yeah. like, maybe, you know, I know it's all about timing and everything, uh -huh. so maybe could you try him, you know, in a better time, like, call hey, him next if week? If I hear anything, I'll give you a call, right? Really? Yeah. Kev, hey, thanks a lot. All you right, got a man. cold? Yeah, you You're know. not on that Coke, are you? No, oh, man, come on. I, I don't do that. Me either, man. That sucks. I'm a sober dude. Sober man. Yeah, Kev. Hey, listen, man, I appreciate it. All right. Hey, you promise? No, I, I can't make promises, but, you know, I got to take care of myself, you know, me first. But it, listen, if, I, if anything comes up, I'll see you around town. Everybody knows you. I'll look for your car, right? Get yeah, I, saw, I read in Variety that you and David are doing another movie soon. Yeah, yeah, you know. I, I really need a part. All right, I'll think of you. You'll, you'll hook me up. I'll hook you up. David, talk to David, all right? All right David. Give me a call. We'll do lunch. Man, I, I, I know that guy digs me, man. He's going to talk to David. He's going to put in the word for me. This is it, man. This is going to happen, man. This is going to be my big break. I can feel it now, man. David's going to call me. It's, gonna, it's all going to come together. All these letters that I've been sending, man, it's my instinct, man. I was right, you know? I knew, you know, persistent pays off. You know, it's all about persistence. It's all about everything, you know, you, it's all cosmic, man. It's all about it's all about the universe, one star connecting to the other, one to the other, and one universe parallel to the other, and the planets are all lining up, and everything's good, and the moon is shining, and the stars are shining, and people are happy, and I'm projecting all this stuff. It's all in my mind, but it's all it's all coming to fr fruition, you know. It's it's true what they say. It's 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 all about the art of visualization, you know. It's all about meditating and making things happen. It's all TM, man. It's kind of like TM, TM, TM. So, um, so Will, you know, like, you know, I've been calling you a lot. You didn't return my calls like Dennis, for a whole Dennis, week. Dennis, I'm busy. I'm busy. You're busy. busy. Well, What's more important than the script? That's what I'm doing, Dennis. I'm writing the script. You don't even return my phone calls. Okay, scripts take time, so. I'm working on as much as I can. I just haven't gotten a lot of sleep lately, okay? So just, it'll be done, it'll be done, trust me. So, so what's going on? I mean, you know, like we've been working on the script for a year and it's perfect for David. It's perfect, and I'm yeah. like, you know. It's, it, Dennis, that's, that's the process, it takes time. Scripts, you, you don't write them in a weekend, okay? I'm working on it, I'm working as much as I can, all right? So just chill out. Okay. Chill out. I mean, how about those scenes we were talking about last week? Are they done? I mean, I don't remember what scenes we're talking about. We can't Every wait forever. We got to make this okay. movie. Well, we're gonna make it. Okay. So this is stop talking about the script. I, I don't want to talk okay. about it right now. I haven't right. slept. I haven't slept in Days. all night. Okay. Well, what do you hey. about? How about me? I have okay. no peace of mind. I'm almost out of money. My whole life is screwed. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. You. But this is. I. I wanted to tell you this. I, I really think I found out he lives in Beverly Hills. I found Dennis. where his house is, and maybe I should go over there and maybe like let him know Dennis, about are the you, script. Are you, are you, how many times have we it? talked about this? Then don't approach David Lynch. Don't contact him. The script has to speak for itself. So we'll finish the script. Then we'll get to David Lynch. Okay. Don't don't go to his house. Don't approach him. The, no. We have to have the script first. What do you you don't you knock on his door and I say hi? Haven't, I haven't. But I was thinking maybe it would be a good no, idea. No, it's not a good idea. Just don't. When we have the script done, we'll go through the proper channels, get it to David. But he had, probably has a camera, and I could even show him the script, but you know. Okay. On, on the, the, the TV you want screen, you could go with me, you know. Um, and we could, like, hold it up and go, look, we really do have one. Just, 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 just sell your movies, play it cool. I won't keep go to yourself, his house Just keep yourself wait. occupied. Watch movies, watch, watch, what's that movie that, uh, what's that movie you did recently? Uh, I haven't seen um, Inland Empire. Watch it. I, I, I watched it like six times. Well, watch it again. Watch it again. Wow, a whole bunch. Okay. Just don't just don't go up to David Lynch. Don't find his don't send him letters. Just you know, just be letters. normal. You be don't normal. think I should send him don't, any don't, letters? Don't don't are you kidding okay, me? I won't. Are you, are you, I won't. Is this a joke? No, I won't. I won't.
I would never send him a letter. What good would that do? You have no messages. Excuse me, sir. Um, I know you're a producer, and I. Uh, I really need to meet David Lynch. I, I, I think he comes around this coffee shop and I think I've talked to some people, they saw him here. And being that you're in the business, you know, the biz, uh, I don't know, maybe you uh, doing some projects that I don't know about. I think you should talk to his agent. He's at CAA. Maybe he can help you. Oh, I don't care about agents. They're all bullshit. If not, he's up on Mulholland. But maybe they tell me that uh, they they can. Yeah, maybe you have to stalk him a little bit. He's up on Mulholland Drive. He's living in a mansion up in Mulholland. Yeah, yeah. You have to wait for, our, for, for him outside of his mansion and maybe uh, approach him there. Really? He's coming here very, you know, a few times a week, but maybe it's better at his house. Do you think maybe, you know, maybe I can be in one of your films in the future? You know, I make films too. Nobody knows that because I'm unknown. Nobody no, knows no, me. You are known. You are known than most people. I, I see you for years uh, around the sunset. Your interesting car. I know, but maybe, maybe to be honest, maybe you thought I was crazy or something. I mean, oh, how many people have this original. kind of crazy? It's original. What? It's original. It's unusual. It's creative. What does it mean to be an artist? To be an artist or not to be? Well, it depends how you define art. But you certainly someone who seems like artistic. You want to break into the movies. You try to find a way. You are persisting. You are not a loser because you never give up. And one day something will happen and it's maybe just quick and then you will be successful. There's a difference between between talking and doing things and then nailing the part where you really make it come to life, another character. And I think that's a mistake in Hollywood is everybody's always trying to make me be me and actors don't be themselves, they have to be other characters. Well, that's the whole idea, to create different characters. That's the, the whole art of it. If you are always you, it's like a caricature. It's not really acting. No? And how you enter into these characters? You have a method? Yes, yes, I have a method to my men and men and I'm losing touch, touch. I'm losing real touch with real reality. I, uh, I'm kind of brand new too because I, I empower me. I empower me. This is a prop. I, I, I relate to the coffee, the, the aroma of the coffee, the, the texture of the cup, the, everything is so important. The, mm, can you smell that beautiful coffee? I mean, it's just so wonderful. And, and you feel this coffee as, as it goes down your throat, 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 a warm feeling in your esophagus. It goes down into my lungs and my stomach. And then the caffeine makes me kind of like bubble, 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 bubble. And I get all this energy and I just want to get in my car and drive around all over LA and meet people and do something. And it's all about. Yeah, 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 yeah.
caffeine and good warm feeling of love and beauty in the city. Because, 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 because in the city there's many shapes and sizes and little people, big, big buildings, little people, and every shape has a just just this table or this this building or this 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 environment is is all telling a story within itself of what's happening right now. David Lynch is Hollywood. Hollywood is David Lynch. Hollywood is David Lynch. David Lynch is Hollywood. There's no doubt about it. He is what Hollywood's about. I think he defines what Hollywood represents. The Hollywood dream, people trying to make it, being artists, never giving up, keep trying, making films no matter what. Some people make it, some don't. Keep moving on, keep moving around, keep talking to people. Turn on the camera, make art, make films. Just make it happen. That's what it is. Just make it happen. Create, be an individ individual. Individuality. That's what it's all about in Hollywood. You don't have to go by any set standard or rules. Just make movies. That's all you have to do. And make good movies. Keep making movies, keep getting better at it. Oh, there's his house, man. I've finally tracked it down. I don't believe it. This is it. Yeah, I'm gonna take these pictures over and my letters and, and my my movies and he's gonna read it and it's gonna be great. Yes, could I speak to David Lynch, please? I really need to talk to him. I, I have an appointment at 3 o'clock. Dennis Woodruff. Yeah, Dennis, quit bugging me, man. I'm getting all those letters and everything from you. Just get out of here, otherwise I'm going to call the cops. Is this the L.A. Police Department? Yeah, this is David Lynch. Uh, I got this guy who's, uh, he's harassing me. He's sending me videos. He's sending me letters. The guy's driving me nuts. Yeah, he's coming by my house and ringing my doorbell. He's uh, making phone calls late at night. I'd like to get a restraining order on this guy, and uh, maybe if you could send a patrol around my house, you know, I, I just, I got it. this guy's driving me crazy. David Lynch? 
Lynch. Yeah, I've heard that last name before. I'm looking for David Lynch. Have you seen him? I don't see a guitarist. No, he's a filmmaker. For a docket or something like that? No, he makes movies. He's a director. Lynch. Lost Highway, Blue Velvet, Eraserhead. You haven't seen him? I, if I did, I didn't know it was him. What's that? Uh, in if order, I did, I didn't know it was him. Hey, uh, in order for you to be filming us and stuff, you gotta get paid. Sorry. I don't. You gotta get paid. <laughs> you ain't gotta pay me nothing other than love Jesus. I love Jesus too, do you? I love Jesus with all my heart. Yeah, well, so, if you see David, will you let him know I need to talk to him? What does he look like? He's tall, he's got... I don't know, he fits the description of a hundred people, I guess. Homeless? What? Or are you, what'd you say? No, he's not homeless. Oh, okay. Does he love Jesus? There's a possibility that, that David Lynch is Jesus Christ reincarnated. We were in prison together, he's, you know. Well, I don't know, man, but I gotta go. All right, man. Wait before you hey, peace and love, man. David Lynch! Lynch man! What's your favorite David Lynch movie, man? Blue Velvet. It's incredible. Um, what, what did you like about that? The women in that film were just awesome. Awesome. Dennis Hopper was great. He was, you know, Hopper at his best. Hopper was hopping. You're an actor. I'm an actor. Would you like to be in one of his films? Totally, totally. Who wouldn't? I don't know, David has film personally. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna be in his next film. I hope to be in all of his films. And I think I'm perfect for all David Lynch movies. Well, you deserve it. And I think that he should just have me, you know? He doesn't need to hire any more actors, just me. I'm, I'm, I'm on the list, you know? And I think I'm near the top. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sending him letters and stuff, and I really think that it's destiny. Are you fucking lost your mind? <laughs> no, really. Do you think he's cool? Have you yeah, seen Blue Velvet? I like Vova? the fact that he... Blue Volva? Blue Velvet. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? Who's David Lynch? The director. He made, you know, so many movies. Dune, Blue Velvet, Lost Highway. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite David Lynch movie? Eraserhead. Why did you? I like that too, man. Why? Why did you like that? Did it's that trip you weird. up? It's weird. What did it? What did it mean to you? What do you? What do you think he was trying to say? It means I'm, fucking nothing to me because it's over. What? It's over. It doesn't mean anything. Hey, settle down. What now? Who's David Lynch? Yeah. Isn't he a commodity broker? No, he's. Uh, he makes he likes, movies. Why are you so fucking serious, man? No, he's cool. David Lynch is everything. Man. I like the fact that he does the weather. Is this uh, is this TM? No, but um, it's a uh, post. It's from Paramahansa Yogananda. Yogananda. I'm looking for David Lynch. He's a member here. David Lynch. Let me ask. Let me ask his name. He knows everything. Famous director. You know, David. Huh? How are you? This guy's looking for David Lynch. Yep. Can I come in? Uh, I love this one. I'll just be a minute. Uh, trying to find David Lynch. Is he a member here? Is no. this TM? No, this is TM and he's probably at another church or something. I don't know where he is. Well, Good luck! Well, what, what church is this? This is uh, Self-Realization Fellowship. Oh, that sounds great. Is that like meditation? Yes, it is meditation, yoga meditation. really could help me. I'm, I'm, I'm really stressed <laughs> out most of the time. Well, come on over and visit sometime. Take hey, care. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Dennis Woodruff. Nice meeting you and good luck. Okay, well, I hope to see David Lynch. If you I see him, you let him know I'm looking I'll for him. I'll send him over. I just need to talk to him for a minute. All right. Sounds great. Bye. Bye. I'm a big fan of David Lynch movies. You know, yeah. David Lynch. David Lynch is cool, man. Never Have you ever seen Blue Velvet? 
You've seen like Wild at Heart. Yeah, I've seen that. What, what did you think about that movie? Um, Probably the best movie of all time. I don't know why you him. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm not. I I, I'm just a fan of David Lynch. I'm Dennis Woodruff. I love David Lynch. <laughs> so what do you do? No, I don't work on some holiday. You're a model? No, I'm a holiday. No, I'm not a model. What, what are you? Um, I work in a shop in England. Would you like to be in a David Lynch movie? I would. <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. No. Okay, I'll see ya. I don't know who he is, to be honest. David Lynch. He makes movies, man. He's a director. Well, some movies. Well, like Lost Highway, Blue Velvet, Eraserhead, Wild at Heart. Are they upon us or something? Eraser, what? Are they upon us or something? No, they're like really tripped out movies, man. Cool. December 21st, 2007. Mr. Lynch, why haven't you called me? You must be busy. I understand. I need to talk to you. Your biggest fan, Dennis Wood. <laughs> No messages. Zero messages. David, I just sent you a letter. Something's going wrong here, man. I'm, I'm not connecting here. Send a letter, no phone call. Send a letter, no phone call. Send a letter, no phone call. What's wrong? I'm doing something wrong. I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated, man. Something I'm doing. Something wrong. I'm, I'm reaching it. Something wrong. Something wrong. It doesn't compute. It doesn't compute! It's unbelievable. Kevin Kelly. Yeah. Hey, dude, I'm not a paparazzi, man. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm trying to find David Lynch. You know who I am, man. You know I'm for real, and I gotta meet. I gotta meet David Lynch. I mean, it's my destiny to be in his movies. Can you get a hold of him? Yeah, Dennis. You want me to call uh, David Lynch? Well, they call him Mr. Lynch, but you I, probably don't. Uh, Dennis, I call him Dave. Dave. Okay. Call him up, man. Tell him I need an appointment. When are you free? When are you free? Uh... Any time, any place, 24-7, I'll be there. I'll come right to his door. Uh, yes, he's uh, Mr. Lynch there. Yes, this is Kevin Kelly. I've worked in uh, three of his films. David, how are you? Yeah, it's, it's, this is Kevin Kelly, yes. How are, what, are, what are you doing? Uh, you work on anything? Really? Uh, well, uh, I'll have uh, my agent. Uh, well, who's casting this? Uh-huh. Okay. You gotta go, well, hold on a second, David. I just wanna, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a guy, uh, Dennis Woodruff, and uh, he's really interested in meeting you. Do you, do you know, you know who he is? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, you know, he seems like a pretty nice guy. He's an actor, and uh, you know, we, we met, and uh, he's um, um, he's a good guy. I mean, you know, very, very uh, a little obsessive, persistent, but uh, he's right here, standing here, and he... Um, yeah, David, it's me, Dennis Woodruff. Yeah, so here, there he is, and, uh, you know, he wants to work, and uh, he's very determined to see you, and, uh, you know, you, you, Dennis Woodruff, you know, yeah. I sent you some letters, man. So you, you know, you, you know him. He, uh, Dennis is uh, here, and um, yeah, yeah, well, you gotta, okay, listen, uh, David, uh, listen, I got a new website, man. It's www.thekevinkellyshow.com. It's got all my music in there. Yeah, it's, you know, you didn't know I was doing music? All right, man, uh, okay, uh, I'll, I'll do that. All right. Um, Okay, David. Peace, man. I love you, bro. All right, man. Say, say hello to your uh, wife. Okay. All right, man. So what did he say, so, man? So, uh, you know, he's, uh, 
He's, lo he's looking forward to. Oh, he's looking forward to seeing you, Dennis. So. Really? Yeah. I gotta go. Uh, but but when? I mean, you know, when does he want to meet? I'll uh, meet with him today. I'm tomorrow, tonight. Yeah, I'll go yeah. over there right now. Well, you know, he's really a busy guy. I, I gotta go. Uh, but wait a minute. When? What did he say? Did he want me to meet me? But, you know, Dennis, he he knows you. He he he's kind of you know. He's kind of creeped out by you. You've been following. What have you been doing? I mean, he's, he's well, I've been trying to hang out with him. You know, I'm, a, I'm not trying to hurt him or anything. No, but he, he didn't really. Uh, he said to stay away from you. You know. I, what? Stay away from me. Yeah, him and I are going to be like best of friends. We're gonna go, man. So. So you'll see. You hook it up next week. Hook it up. I'll get back to you, right? All right. I appreciate. It. Hey, thanks a lot. All right, man. I'll be talking to him tomorrow. I'll go by his house. Hey, thanks, man. You really did me a favor. Man, that Kevin Kelly is so cool, man. Hey, thanks, Kevin. You're really cool, man. I love you. Love all your movies. Do you like David Lynch movies? I love his movies, man. Okay, I like some of his movies. But, you know, I used to work with Warhol, and I did a couple of movies. I did Trash. I, I uh, did some work on the, uh, Andy Warhol, Frankenstein, the 3D movie. Um, but, uh, you know, David Lynch is a good, he's, a, he's, he's got good movies, he's got potential, you know, hopefully maybe he'll become like a Warhol one day, you know, and I, you know, I like the way he picks out his, his actors and his actresses because they're just regular people, you know, and that's how Warhol did it, he just took people off the streets and made them actresses and actresses. I'm going to be in his next movie, I hope. I'm, I'm, I'm sending him letters. I'm trying to get in his next movie. All right. Well, Don't you think I'd be good for his movies? I think you would be. I'm a natural. Yeah, well, you got to just check it out and see what happens. You know, I've studied. I've studied at UCLA, and I've, I've won awards, and I, I make films, but I really want to be in a David Lynch movie. I think David's going to really like me. Once he gets to know me, you know, he's going to like me, you know? I think he's really cool, man. I, I really think he's gonna like me. He's gonna like want me to be in all of his movies, I Are hope. Are you obsessed with David? No, no. I think Mulholland Drive's probably my favorite. Really? Yeah, it's um, it's it's less bombastic than some of his other ones, a little more subtle in this, you know, surreal world that he creates, so I, I, I seem to attract to that one more than the others. But anyone that says uh, they don't like David Lynch, I just don't get, man. I don't buy that. Sometimes I wouldn't mind uh, going medieval on some of those guys, like one of those bad guys in the film. I'd, I'd probably beat the shit out of him, maybe. Really? Yeah. I, I really don't give a darn about David Lynch. Who he is, what he is, means nothing to me. And you need to leave me alone. What's up, Dennis? I give you your first speaking part. Remember? Yeah. Speak of the devil. Yeah. How did I do? You did great. Really? Yeah. Is it out now? Yeah, it's been out for years. Yeah, I need to get a copy of that. I know. Yeah, we had a good time, man. We were making a movie, and uh, you found me, and I did a good job. And I, I remember that speaking part. I mean, that was like one of my first breaks, and probably my only one. I'm still struggling, you know. I want to be in David Lynch's next movie, but I don't know if he's going to hire me. He's a busy man, you know. What? Why? Why did you cut me a break? I don't understand. I picked you out because uh, I saw the perseverance. I said this guy, he's going to be something someday. So I decided to give you the first speaking part, and you did. You became famous. You're famous now. What are you guys doing, man? We're just lounging around today, man, kicking it. Do you like David Lynch? I, I love his movies. Not too bad, not too bad. What's your favorite David Lynch movie? I think we recently just watched Blue Velvet again, had to revisit that one, that was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. What was your favorite scene? Ooh, that's a tough one. You know, it probably had to be the kind of, you know, the pop final or scene. the final scene. Yeah. What's that? The final scene where he walks in and everyone's, everyone's all dead, standing up. Yeah, that was pretty good. I, I think I think he's a genius. I think his work is outstanding. I think he's probably one of the most outstanding movie makers of all time. Yeah. He's very close to Kubrick. Yeah, different, but up there, yeah. You can see that. David Lynch, dear sir, 
I heard you may be casting for your next film. I loved Inland Empire. I've seen it 32 times this week. Waiting your reply, Dennis Woodruff, your biggest fan. Messages. Maharishi came to the United States around 1955, 1956, something like that, with a very simple message, and that was life was meant to be enjoyed. Uh, he said that when he looks around, when he looked around, that uh, what he saw was a lot of people trying to be happy but not doing a good job of it. And uh, he realized that the reason that we've been struggling. Uh, and today, you know, stress is so uh, prevalent it, uh, that, that there's a lot of unhappiness in, in society. But he said the reason that we're struggling is because we're not using the full range of the mind. And because the nervous system, which is the machinery of the mind, has accumulations of stress and tension and fatigue, which prevents it from operating most effectively. TM is a, an ancient technique comes from the Vedic tradition of, of India, thousands and thousands of years old. It provides the mind and body with what they need to function more normally, to function in a clearer, more healthy state. The mind experiences a, a level of wakefulness or alertness, which is much more profound than just what we ordinarily experience in our waking state of consciousness. And would you like to get me started? Can I have a couple days to think about it? <laughs> you can have as long as you want to think about it. We're here to teach people. Whenever you feel ready to come in and learn, just uh, give me a call. We'd be happy to teach you. Do you like David Lynch movies? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite one? I love David Lynch movies. What's your favorite David Lynch <laughs> How many? Well, what are his famous ones? Well, you got two. Eraserhead's a great. Eraserhead is a good movie I've seen. Yeah. Haven't seen this one. Uh, I've been meaning because I like Dennis Hopper a lot. Mm -hmm. You do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm Dennis Woodruff, and I want to be in the next David Lynch movie. In and fact, I, and I think that I want to be in all of his movies. Mm -hmm. I want to be in all of his movies from now on. I, I'll like sweep the floors. I'll do anything. You should. I will. He'll do, do, do it. David Lynch. Stop with the David Lynch. Why? Stop. He's, I'm not Stop. doing anything wrong. It's a lost highway, Dennis. It's a lost highway. It's it's blue velvet redux, okay? But, Just but, forget it. No I've more been calling you. No more David Lynch, okay? Listen, you're a big guy and I can't do this too much because if you get angry, I'm fucked. But listen. But you're my right. friend, Weller. No more, Look, that's I all I can say. No more David Lynch. No word. But he's my no more David Lynch. Don't you think he'll put Look, me in a movie? Read, Look, I'm Read perfect. my hand. Read my hand. No more David Lynch. I love you. But I believe in you. Read the hand. Look at the hand. I've been sending him letters, man. I think he's going to respond and put me in one of his movies. What? What am I doing wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong. I gotta go on. I'm gonna be a big star, Willard. You are a big star. You're there already. I'll call you. <laughs> D, it's me, DW. Uh, I checked in to see if you've received my video letters. I'm ready to act. Your friend, Dennis Woodruff, even though we haven't met yet. Messages. How are you today? Hi there, Dennis. Wow, Cloris Leachman, you're a big star. How you been? Excellent. Um, what have you been up to? Oh, I'm doing one woman show. Mm -hmm. I'm learning my lines right now and having a cup of hot chocolate. Uh -huh. You have a what, cute dog. Uh, you know, I, I want to I want to be a great I, actor I, like you. Um, do you give me any like advice oh, I, I, on you know? Like I'm trying to study my craft at UCLA. Well, I just think I have a funny bone, and so a lot of it's kind of silly, but but it tickles you. I think you can. 
<coughs> um, you know, comedy is it's either in your soul or it's not, right? I mean, it, it's actually a very difficult art form, isn't it? To me, it is. I don't think so. Uh -uh. <laughs> Yeah, who is it? Uh, excuse me, I, I, I really need to talk to David Lynch. Uh, would you tell him Dennis is here? Yeah, Dennis, I've already called the cops. If, I, if you don't get away from here, I'm gonna shoot you with the bow and arrow right in your chest. Colonel! Colonel, have you seen David Lynch today? Yes, I did see where, him. Where was he? <laughs> he was there in the uh, West Hollywood. I need to find him. Can you tell me where he is? I don't know where, where, he, where he is. Well, um, Colonel, if you see David Lynch, will you tell him that I really need to talk to him? Yes, I should. When I meet him, when I meet him, I'll tell him. But you want to see him. Joe Osterley interviewing Dennis Woodruff for Weird Hollywood. How you doing, Dennis? Pretty good, Joe. All right. Uh, there's a. Let's just start to uh, make this kind of an organic interview. We've gotten to know each other a little bit. Uh, are you a native... Los Angelino. Yes, I am. All right. Uh, so, who who are some of your acting and writing influences? Or do you have them? Uh, well, I like the great filmmakers. Um, David 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 um, David David Lynch. David 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 Lynch. I'm losing. I'm losing time. Time. I'm losing time. Time. I'm losing real touch with real reality. Real touch with reality. When you see beyond. Time. 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 You know what's true when you see beyond. Time. 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 You must be see beyond. Real. Real. You must see be 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 beyond. Be Beyond reality. Hi. Hi. Have you seen David Lynch? First time today. Have you seen him around? Today? First, yeah. First time. Around here? Yeah. Where is he? Right here? No, I'm not David Lynch. I'm looking for him. Have you I don't seen know. him around? No, I don't. Excuse me, sir. Hold on. Yeah. Sir, have you seen David, you know, David Lynch? Have you seen him around? David he gets Lynch. his car washed yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just here. What? Yeah. David Lynch? Yeah, yeah. He was just here, standing right there. Where? Right over there. Is he gone? Is he here? Yeah, no, he left. There's a black Mercedes. He went that way. Black Mercedes. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Black Mercedes. Black. Black. Right. Shiny. A clean one. Right up, right. Right. Right up the street. You're yeah, not kidding. Street. You're, You're not, not bullshitting kidding. me, are you? Okay, listen, man. Thanks a lot. I gotta go. I gotta go. Excuse me, sir. Um, have you seen David Lynch around today? I haven't seen him at all. Have you seen him? Because this is Farmer's Market. I know he comes here. I haven't seen him today. Have you seen him around? Actually, I've never seen him around here. Well, I know he comes here. Maybe he come, does he wear a, maybe a disguise? Right. Right. It's possible. I've never heard of him wearing a disguise, but knowing David Lynch, it's possible. 
Do you like David Lynch movies? Yeah, very much, actually. What's your favorite one? I think um, Firewalk With Me. I actually never saw that movie Firewalker. I mean, it's like, it's pretty amazing. It's very spooky. Well, very you know, it's cool. Very, yeah, it's a cool film. It's well, not yeah. very well known, but it's good. Yeah. Is it violent? Uh, Blood? Yeah, but it's more psychologically violent. Psychologically violent? It's about incest. It's about incest? Yeah. Does that mean like you have sex with an animal or a farm no, animal? No, it's, uh, it's with a... <laughs> no, with a family member. Oh really? Yeah. So, oh, I would never do that. No, no, it's not a, not, it's not recommended. Wow. Well, listen. Um, if you see him around, would you tell him that Dennis Woodruff is looking for him? I will. Dennis Woodruff? Yeah. Okay. I really need to find him because I know I'm going to be in his next movie. I know that he needs to find me so he can put me in his next movie. I don't know what his next movie is going to be, but the universe tells me that I'm perfect for the part. I hope you get it. And I'm not, I'm not hearing voices or anything, man. I'm not crazy. I'm just, I, I'm just really tuned in on, the, on this subject. And I, I know David Lynch wants to meet me as much as I need to meet him. David, I'm really frustrated. You didn't get my letters yeah. or my videos. I... Maybe I could hear from you soon. Did you read my letters? <laughs> Your biggest fan, Dennis Woodruff. I'm ready to act, man. You have no messages. Hey, Dennis, what's up? Hey, Will, hi. How you doing? Oh, I'm meditating. Oh yeah. TM. Well, I'm glad you cool. you called me back. I mean, uh... we'll have a seat. I need to talk to you. Okay. Oh man, everything is great. I am so close, like this close, you... to meeting David Lynch, to fulfilling my destiny of the universe. Time out. What do you mean? This is a fucking joke, right? No. This is Dude, what I'm what, supposed what, to do. What, what, Look, what, 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 what do we okay. talk about? What do we I talk? know, I know, but let me explain something. I was doing my research at the library all week, and I found out that the planets are exactly in line right now for me and him meeting, and he'll what, realize what, when he sees what, 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 me. What did, you, what did you do? Specifically, what did you do? I sent him six letters, and I sent him some tapes. You sent him six letters? And I went to his house. And, did, and he never answered. You sent him six letters. You said, what did you say? What did you say in the letter? What you say in the letters? I think I saw him. He sped, sped off real fast. What did you say in the letters? But I know he Does, saw. Did you write me. your name? So he saw your your car. You. Yeah, and he, what, he kind of looked out at okay. the top window, maybe. What did you say in the letters? What did you I tell told him? him that I really think that this is important to our lives that we're supposed to meet. And I told him I'm not a homosexual, which I'm not. You know what? And I told him that this is this is this is our destiny that we need to meet so I can um, be in his next film. Okay. Um, you did exactly what I told you not to do. So fuck the script. I mean the script's not we can't go to bring it to him. That's 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 a given. Um, you're what can I say? But I mean, you're my friend. I mean you're supposed every, to I, I I'm your friend. And I give you advice because you well, need I advice. Can call I call you. I take. My, no, what do you mean? You call, I call. I've been very busy. Okay, but Dennis. I, you know how much time you asked my advice. I gave you my advice, and you do the exact opposite. Well, now what do you want? Now you call me back and say you want to talk again, and now you're telling me you want more advice. Well, I, I, I things aren't exactly working out the way I had, I had planned. Yeah, because you fucked up. You well, should, maybe I, told, I should just send one more letter. Do whatever you want. You already fucked up. I mean, you're probably gonna get arrested again. I mean, whatever. Arrested? I mean, the, the guy. The, he's gonna think I'm like. He's a gonna think guru. you're a freak. You're telling him you're destined to be in his movies. You're sending him not one letter but six letters, hanging out by his house. The guy thinks you're a stalker. I mean, you. What do you want me to say? It's. Say that I haven't blown it yet. You want me to say you haven't blown? You know, I, what am I gonna tell you? You've blown it. You've blown it big time. You know what I mean? I'm really sorry you feel that way, Will. I've really tried to be your friend. Um, I've tried to be supportive of everything you well, do. Dennis, then all you do is call me when you need advice. I give you advice. You fuck up. You do exactly the opposite I, I tell you to do. That's fine. But but don't ask me for advice anymore because I'm not going to keep wasting my time if you're going to do if you're not if you're going to 
if you're not gonna even listen to what I say. So why, you know what I mean? Friend goes, ship goes two ways. I mean, you don't need a friend, you need a, you need a fucking uh, blow up doll. Anyways, I'm out of here. I mean, this is, you know, whatever. Good luck, bye. Good luck. That damn Dennis, he's, he's driving me crazy with all his fricking phone calls. Driving me nuts, he's dropping off packages at my house. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. I gotta do something. I got it. I got it. I'll make him the star of my next movie. It's gonna be a movie he wished he never got the part for. Hello, Jack. Yes, this is David Lynch. Uh, yeah, I know you have an actor. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Dennis, Denny something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dennis Woodruff. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, believe it or not, I, I, I want him. Yeah, this is going to be Dennis's big break. It's going to be a groundbreaking part. I've written the script precisely for him, and Dennis is the perfect guy for it. Yeah, this movie's gonna put him on the map. He's gonna be A-listed in Hollywood after this. Have him meet me at my house, and, uh, and I'll show him the set, and uh, we'll start filming that day. Yeah. Okay, Jack, thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to meeting Dennis in the flesh. I decided today I can't wait any longer, so I hope you call when you need me. Would love to sample your organic coffee. Your biggest fan, Dennis Woodruff. Here's my number in case you don't have it. One message. Message one. That is, that is what Robert Jack Skagney, old agent. It's been a while, but I've got good news for you. I think it's good news. David Lynch, well-known director. I'm sure you've heard of him. Anyway, through Joanne O'Ray, well-known, long-time casting director. She wants you to come in for an audition. For Woo! Yeah! Woo! This is it! Woo! Yeah! Ah! It's been a pl 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 pleasure, pleasure, pl 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 pleasure, 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 talk, 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 talking to you. This is the most wonderful day of my life. Tomorrow will be my dream come true. Port, 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 I guess my instincts were good. But I gotta do a good job, Joanna Ray. She's she does all of his casting, man. This is it. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life. This is it. The lead in a David Lynch movie. I can't blow it. David, David, it's 
me, Dennis, Dennis Woodruff. Should I come up? Here are Dennis. I've been waiting for you. Come on up. Okay, David. I'll be right there. David, I'm so happy you could make it. Yes, David. Come this way. Come on to my beautiful set. I've been working on this. Yeah, uh, this is the most important moment of my life. I knew, David, it was destiny for me and you to work together. And now here I am on the first day of shooting. Isn't this great? You are the king. You're the man. You're the man, David. But yeah, I, I do kind of like the set, but uh, where is everybody, man? This, this is a bit strange. Well, there doesn't need to be everyone. You're the star of the movie, and it's my latest film. Extremely conceptual. More conceptual than any movie I've ever done. This is a snuff film, Dennis. Yeah, this is, this is the moment I've always waited for, David. And you're the star. <laughs> you wanna be a star, huh? Okay. I am at peace. I am drifting away. My destiny's been fulfilled. Goddamn, Dennis. Hollywood's really made you a tough old bird. I can't even get through these bones. You've had this coming for a long time. <laughs> You want to be in movies. Eh, Hollywood isn't ready for you in movies. Hollywood is ready for you on my canvas, you crazy little fucker. <laughs> yeah, Dennis, there's your little eyeball. Put it right on the canvas there. I can see you. You can't see me now, can you, you little pea brain? And speaking of pea brains, here it is over here. Now, normal brain's about that big. Now, look at your shrunken little brain. Too much alcohol, too many cigarettes. Yeah, try giving me the Hollywood finger. I'll put it on a canvas, man. I'm gonna hang this thing right above my fireplace and have big parties and orgies in front of you. What do you think of that? Oh, can you hear me? Oh, I don't think you can hear me. <laughs> in a couple of days, there's gonna be ants and maggots all over you. <laughs> Yeah, the funny part is I'm going to release the snuff film and make millions of dollars and I'm going to have this painting of you on my fireplace and you're not going to get a penny. This is my greatest masterpiece! <laughs>